Welcome back to Red Blue Labs. I'm glad you're here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Z Attack Proxy as a local proxy so that when you're using your browser, you can actually see every all the communications along the way. Let's dive right in. Let's go ahead and look at the two key pieces that we need. We need the application Zap, and we need to set up our browser to point to Z Attack Proxy. Okay, let's do that. Open up Z Attack Proxy first, and we're going to take a look at some settings here. Awesome. We now have our application open. And so we're going to take a look at two pieces inside of this application. First, we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to jump, jump on down to Options. So what I'm going to look at first is our local proxy. So what, would, what does our browser need to point to? And we want our browser to point to Zap. So let's take a peek at our settings there. So we head on down to Local Proxies right over here. And we're going to click on that, and it brings us to our, our configuration there. And so localhost is referring to the machine that uh, Zap is running on. And so I, you can just leave that like that. And now you can set this to any port that you want. By default, it's going to be set to 8080, and that's fine. You can leave it like that. I've changed it to 8081 because I was using two proxies, and I wanted to differentiate. I'm going to leave mine today at 8081. And so Right now, for a basic proxy, you can just leave this the way it is. Local, 8080, boom, you're good. The next piece we need to do is to go ahead and grab our SSL certificate. So let's go ahead and you're going to save it. Save it wherever you want. Just make sure you know where it is so you can call it back and load it into our Firefox, which is what we're going to do now. Okay, so we've looked at the local proxy. Boom, that's good. We've looked at our SSL certificate. Those are the two key pieces to our, our setting up our Zap on that application. Let's go to Firefox and check out some of the configurations that we need to do in there. It's super easy. Okay, now inside of Firefox, we're gonna to go to our preferences. And you can see that I got my proxy already running there. Uh, in here, we're going to type the word network. And we're going to go to settings. We are going to click ours to manual proxy configuration. Great. Hey, and now we're going to point it to our, our instance of Zap. And look at this localhost 8081, and you hit OK. Now, it's not gonna work right away though, because we need to do another setting. We are gonna do security, and we're gonna go down to certificates. So let's look at this, and we are going to view certificates. Click on that, and we're going to import. So you click on import, and then in the file browser, you're gonna to navigate to wherever you saved your, your certificate from Zap. Add that in there. Hit OK. Now those are the two configurations that you need to do on your Firefox browser. Awesome. And at this point, we are actually ready to navigate to a website. Now, keep an eye on the side here, and I'm going to navigate to uh, one of my websites. And you can see apt-secure popped up over here, which is great. Now it's going through and it's it's looking at all the things. You know, you've got some Google stuff. We've got fonts. Um, look at this here. Open up. No, not that one. We're going to open up apt-secure. And we can see the icon. You know, we can see everything that was that is involved in the process of accessing that website. And there you go. That is a, um, that's how we set up a, a proxy on in Kali. Specifically, we set up Zap 
Awesome. Hey, you know what? If you are enjoying my content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That'd be great. And talk to you soon. Bye.